With all the hard work that we've been doing, it's time to think about adding more cars to the scene. After all, people have actually been asking me about it since two pages ago, so now would be a good time to add some more cars. We've got costumes, we've got all kinds of good stuff. And so I'm just going to give an example with this car because it's all set up for this lane. And if I right click and choose duplicate, sorry, sorry, let me, let me slow down. I went, I went too fast here. Let's right click and delete. So back here with this bus, there's the bus. I'm going to right click and choose duplicate or duplicate. And there's my duplicate. So I'll just put them back here. Yeah, it's not really going to work very well, is it? And uh, let's see, we should rename them. Let's see. You know, in software programming, sometimes they come up with really weird names. How about we go with east, because that's the direction it's heading, because west would be the other way. And we'll call it slow 2. Hmm. That's a really weird name. But it's the second car in the slow lane going eastbound, so sure, let's call it that. And in this case... Let's see, I only want this car to appear. What were my instructions? Something about only in the third level. So let's think, 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 think. I suppose it doesn't really matter where we put this, does it? So in our code, at the very beginning of the game, so when the green flag is clicked, let's see, oh yeah, it just keeps adding more code. We should change the look of it. We should... Aha, we should hide it. So at the beginning of the game, when the green flag is clicked, we should hide it. See how you kind of keep moving this down and you get more space? So when the green flag is clicked, we should hide it. Now let's see, when would we be checking for level three? Well, let's see. When? Are, oh, hang on now. When I receive level up. Oh, there's a level up signal coming through here. So I could just check if. If, 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 if. There's my if. I could check if. Uh, the level is equal to three. What a great idea. I could go to my operators and choose equals. And I could go to my variable and choose a level. And then I could just type in. Oh, great. I could just type in the number three. And if level equals three, then show. Show, 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 show. show. Where's show? There we go. Show. Wow. Really? It's that easy to add a car? No, no, not possible. Let's start the game. Okay, Frogger, it's you and me getting to level three. Here we go. There's level <laughs> one. All right, good, 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 good. The car should start moving again. All right, I can do this. I can do this. There's level two. <laughs> Boy, this is pressure, man. This is going to go up on YouTube, and I can't even beat my own game. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Good, good. <laughs> level three, and another bus just showed up. Holy smokes. <laughs> mm. Now, I don't know if you thought about this, but those cars are going to make this really hard to get through. That's a pretty, as I was saying, that's a really small gap, you know. I'm thinking I want to shrink these guys down a little bit more. Yeah, this might give me at least a fighting chance of getting through there. Okay, oh, the only problem is in order to test this, I have to get back to level three again. <laughs> so, now you got the idea. You go ahead and figure out if you can add another vehicle in the slow lane going east and in the slow lane going west. Wow, this is going to get really complicated soon, but really, all we had to do was add that code and a little bit of code here, and it all runs just beautifully. See you on the next slide.